Welcome to the Daily Business and Finance Show. In this episode, we delve into the world of finance and tech, from October's CPI headline inflation hitting zero and core inflation's unexpected rise, to Michael Burry closing out broad market shorts while betting against semis. We'll explore Pfizer's Paxlovid's link to a higher rate of COVID rebound according to recent studies, and the retail relief rally following the CPI report. We'll also discuss NASDAQ's best day since April with S&P and Dow also rising as stocks make significant gains post-CPI. In tech news, we examine why U.S. chipmaking export curbs are failing according to a congressional report, NVIDIA's H200 GPU emphasizing memory importance for AI as per Wells Fargo, and David Tepper's Appaloosa exiting Apple, Marvel, Broadcom in Q3 while Druckenmiller's Duquesne takes new stakes in Alibaba and Alphabet but exits Meta. Stay tuned after our short ad break for these fascinating insights. The consumer price index for the month of October indicated no inflation, failing to meet the projected increase of 0.1%. This was primarily due to a decrease in gasoline prices. However, there was a year-on-year rise in the CPI by 3.2%. Experts are suggesting that these stagnant month-to-month figures could be a sign of an economic deceleration happening more quickly than previously expected. It is anticipated that the Federal Reserve will keep the current rate steady in December, with market predictions strongly leaning towards a hold. Michael Burry, the renowned hedge fund manager of Scion Asset Management, has concluded his wager against the S&P and Nasdaq 100. The company also disclosed a fresh short on semiconductor stocks along with long positions in Alibaba and JD.com. This development follows Scion's initial market bet of $1.6 billion last August. Recent research indicates a potential connection between Pfizer's oral antiviral treatment, Paxlovid, and an elevated rate of COVID rebound than initially believed. The investigation revealed that post-treatment, 20% of individuals using Paxlovid saw a rise in their viral levels. This contrasts with the mere 2% increase observed in the group that did not receive any treatment. Regardless of these results, Pfizer continues to express confidence in Paxlovid's ability to prevent severe outcomes from COVID-19. The retail industry is experiencing a surge in the wake of an inflation report from October that alleviated worries about extended high interest rates. The consumer price index has remained stable, whereas the core CPI, which excludes food and energy, was marginally below predictions. This encouraging trend has resulted in substantial growth throughout the retail market despite possible macroeconomic obstacles anticipated in 2024. United States stocks experienced a notable increase, with the Nasdaq composite leaping up by 2.37% and the S&P 500 ascending by 1.91% in response to consumer inflation data that was milder than anticipated. This has fueled conjecture that the Federal Reserve might reduce rates by June of the upcoming year. The Steady Consumer Price Index, or CPI, for October coupled with a decrease in gasoline prices implied that additional rate increases are not required, resulting in a boost in bond acquisitions and a fall in Treasury yields. Despite attempts by the United States to limit China's importation of chips, Chinese companies have managed to purchase semiconductor manufacturing equipment valued at $3.2 billion from the Netherlands this year. This represents a significant increase of 96% compared to the previous year, 2022. A report from Congress has highlighted that these purchases are made possible due to existing loopholes and a lack of sufficient inspection capacity. In related news, Huawei has introduced a new phone equipped with an advanced chip that was thought to be unachievable under current export restrictions. David Tepper's hedge fund, known as Appaloosa LP, has made substantial reductions in its technology stock investments during the third quarter. The company has divested its shares in Apple, Marvel Technology, and Broadcom. However, it has increased its stakes in Meta Platforms and Microsoft. Additionally, it has downsized positions in Qualcomm and Alibaba. NVIDIA has introduced a new H200 GPU that boasts an improved memory capacity, highlighting the increasing significance of memory in the realm of artificial intelligence. This advancement may ignite investor curiosity towards memory suppliers such as Micron Technology. 
The H200 GPU employs high bandwidth HBM 3E memory to expedite AI and large language model tasks. In addition, NVIDIA has unveiled plans for the Jupiter supercomputer, scheduled for installation in 2024, which further accentuates the importance of memory in AI. Stan Druckenmiller, a billionaire, has made substantial changes to his tech investments through his Duquesne family office. The office has ended its investment in meta platforms and initiated a new one in Alphabet, the parent company of Google. Additionally, it has augmented its stakes in Alibaba, Eli Lilly, and Seagate Technology. However, it has downsized its positions in Amazon, Lamb Weston Holdings, and Option Care Health. Furthermore, it has entirely withdrawn from DoorDash, Illumina, Marvel Technology, and Vornado Realty. Thank you for tuning into the Daily Business and Finance Show. Stay informed, stay invested. Until next time, keep making sense of your dollars. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. See you later until tomorrow comes around. This content is sourced from the Seeking Alpha website, so support our podcast by becoming a Seeking Alpha Premium subscriber. See the show notes page for links to sign up. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. Check out our other podcasts in our network at classicstudios.com.